Hello students, myself Asmita Taskar, working as assistant professor in computer science department of KTHM College, Nasik. Now today, I am going to discuss to you with the topic of subject cyber security, which is allotted for PG1 and we may call it as a module 1. From that, for module 1, uh, we have the uh, topic that is prerequisites in information and network security. And here, from this, we have a first subtopic which we are going to discuss today is overview of networking concept. Now, our session agenda is uh, here we are going to introduce with the basic communication system. And then we also take some overview of the networking concept. Now the uh, here the learner would actually get the knowledge about the communication network means how the communication is done and what are the different components we required for the communication. So first we start with the concept of communication. So we know in a, our day to day life. Uh, we perform the communication uh, with different people for different purposes and through different medium. So what is this communication is? A communication is nothing but we can say it is an act of transforming the data or it is like an act of trans transforming the information uh, between different peoples or uh, from one source to the destination by using different medium. So uh, basically in our day to day life, we go through different types of communication and we use the different ways for the communication purpose. For example, uh, we talk with the uh, different peoples. This is one type of a communication. Then uh, using different medias, uh, the communication is happened. Then uh, we can uh, connect to the different people and exchange the data or information by using internet as well as uh, telephone or messaging services like this. Okay, so here this communication is needed for what? The so communication is needed to transform or exchange the information or exchange the data. Okay, basically, uh, when it is related with the uh, computers we called it as a computer network means to exchange the data or to transfer the data we use a network uh, which is called here as a computer network so when we say the computer network it is nothing but a group of computers or it may include the other devices also and they all are connected with each other for some purpose and by using some medium and they are able to exchange the data so basically, uh, the computers are connected with each other using a computer network and using that we can uh, send the mails, uh, we can send the files, images or um, important documents, anything. Okay. So same way we have the next type is a telecommunication. So here telecommunication is uh, nothing but it is used for transmission of uh, information by using various types of technology. So that is uh, it, that technology may a uh, wired technology or that may be the radio technology or that may use the optical fibers or other electromagnetic systems for the communication purpose. Okay. So uh, basically this type of a uh, communication is happened uh, with the long distance distances of a type of a communications basically and uh, uh, in that uh, the known communication media which we uh, know that is the satellite communication so basically before these uh, the communication media which we are using is the telephones or we use the uh, different types of uh, televisions then uh, radios are the old communication uh, techniques we used. But the, nowadays we are using the satellite communication 
we are using internet telecommunication system and which is more efficient and more reliable for us plus to that uh, uh, it, we can use this communication in a different ways means the communication may be a point to point type of a communication or it may be a multi point type of a communications or like a radio or the television type means from one source to the number of receivers are there or one sender one receiver or vice versa also so in this way the communications is happened by using a computer network or we may call it as the telecommunication system also now basically when we uh, whatever we discussed about the telecommunication system the important things here is what there is one transmitter as shown in this diagram and uh, the transmitter want to transmit some message or data to the receiver so how that can be happened so for that purpose the thing which is required is the medium so here what the satellite is shown here satellite tower is shown in this diagram so whatever transmitter is going to transmit it that can be first received by the medium that is that tower and then send it to the satellite and through satellite it will be received to the destination which is nothing but the receiver okay so in this way the basic communication is happened now for uh, this communication there are number of components are actually included for that in that the first component is the sender now you all know sender means what the person or uh, who wants to send the data or information which is in any format is a, we can say the source of data or source of information that may be a text file that may be a message that may be a video that may be a audio anything okay so sender is the maybe a person or who wants to send the message or data or information okay now the second component required is the transmitter okay here the transmitter is uh, is the process actually in that the data or the source data is get transmitted into another form and this is what called as a encoding means the uh, source data is encodes and it uh, creates the generates the signals from that source data this is called as a encoding of the source data so the data suppose when uh, the communication happened on the mobile phone so when someone calls another person so he is going to send the message through his voice he is talking to me so that voice is actually get converted into the signal format okay so that signal so converting that voice data into signal format is we we called it as an encoding that encodes the data which is the uh, component which we required is the transmitter then the next is the medium medium means what medium is a uh, any physical medium that may be a wired or wireless radio optical any type of a medium we use to transmit that signal that encoded signal to the destination point okay so medium is also plays a very important role to transfer physically that signal from source to destination the next component is the receptor the receptor is at the receiver's side but what is the role of receptor receptor actually decodes the data or the information which is received from the source decoding means what whatever data which is transmitted from the sender side is actually converted into the signal format signal format is not understandable to the receiver directly so for that purpose that encoded data or encoded information is again transmitted uh, into the human readable or human understandable format which is called as a decoding okay so which is opposite to encoding it means your uh, voice data is 
converted into signals in a uh, in the first phase we call it as encode and when it is received or it is at the receptor side receptor what does it just convert that signals again into the voice format okay and then the next component which play a uh, important that is a receiver it is a nothing but the destination who received that data or who received that message is sent by the sender but which again it is received in a original format means it, if it is a, a call then uh, the original format is a voice okay so it is received in a voice format again now here the most important component which is data okay means the data which we are going to transmitted it plays a very important role because um, whatever data what is the purpose of this communication is to send the data so that data must be preserved properly or that data must be sent properly this is the main goal of the communication system so that's why data is the most important component because on data we are going to uh, perform the operation of encoding and decoding by using transmitter and receptor okay so these are the components which we are using in a communication system so the same uh, uh, is shown in this block diagram of a communication system where there is a one sender and one receiver is there so sender sends the data and then transmitter encodes that data means change that data from one format to another format okay so why we need it uh, it is need because the medium is changed na for transferring the data and uh, it uh, it is for the safer purpose safety purpose also okay to preserve the security so here sender sends the data transmitter encodes that data then medium through medium that data to be traversed from source to the destination then receptor receives that data again uh, decodes that data into original format and then it is received by the so in this way the work will be done now there is one example uh, so uh, the example is while sitting in uh, her home miss tanvi from pune is writing an email to mr umesh who is traveling in london okay so uh, what is this example gives you that uh, the thing is what the distance uh, long distance communication is here and two different mediums so for to happen or to um, done this type of a communication what is actually required okay so both umesh and tanvi both needs what first they need their uh, email accounts because they are on a huge distance and they are going to communicate through internet then second they must they both must have the internet connectivity okay then only they are able to communicate and the third is the user end devices through which we can communicate means the end devices are maybe the um, android phone the laptop uh, pc anything with internet connectivity which is required for performing the communication or to transfer the data from one people or from one uh, you can say place to another place or to the destination person okay so these are uh, some basic concepts uh, which are um, gives you the idea about what is communication what is communication network and uh, how the telecommunication is happened and the number of components which are included within a communication okay so uh, now in a next uh, lecture or in the next session we are going to cover the topics in that the first is the transmission media so you know the word, we use the medium na so there are different types of transmission medium we have a wired wireless optical electromagnetical that we are going to discuss in this uh, topic then the second is we are going to discuss the different topologies which are used to form the communication and 
the third is we are going to discuss the different types of networks okay according to the size of network according to the number of uh, computers or number of nodes which are included within the network we are going to um, let's say the categorize the types of network okay so this is all for thank you